Hi, in this video, I would like to showcase the approval workflow in Business Central and the approval workflow notification in email. So in this video, I'm not going to explain the configuration set, but I would like to just to showcase how the approval notification is receiving an email from business center. So our agenda is approval workflow, the straight one. There is no any complicated uh, conditional workflow is not configured. This is a simply a workflow configuration for a sales invoice. Whenever a sales invoice has been created in the system, it should be approved from a, an approver. And once the request has been sent, that approval request notification will be received in email and the approver can see the details the summary of the you know, document in email and from that email the approver can drill down the uh, particular order number and can do the approval process this is our agenda in this session so i have configured the approval for the sales invoice. I'm not detailing any configuration steps, but simply just showcase what are the primary settings I have done in a high level. So we have uh, approval user setup is there. Here in the approval user setup, I have done a single approval user setup. Here, the user ID who is going to create the document and who is the approver and the email ID. Whatever email ID you have mentioned here, the request notification will be delivered into that particular email address. So this email address is the approver email address. And another thing is notification set. In business center, we can create the notification setup. And in the notification type is approval. And the notification method is email. And the schedule is instantly. Whenever a request has been, approval request has been submitted, instantly the notification will be sent to the mentioned email. This is the setup I have done for this approval notification. And obviously, I have enabled the workflow. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to uh, explain in detail about the workflow configuration or the related configurations what I have done, but this is the high level things. We need to just uh, know for this uh, approval workflow notification functionality. So I have enabled the sales invoice approval workflow. The standard templates I have used for this particular uh, uh, session. So here I just uh, simply use the standard uh, template for the sales invoice approval workflow and just enabled. Okay, you can create your own. And in another videos, I will explain about how to create the template and uh, approval or flow with uh, different conditions and such kind of configurations. So workflow is enabled, approval user setup has been done, email has been uh, mentioned for the approval to receiving the notification. So what will happen when the user is creating the sales invoice? Selecting the item, the normal sales invoice creation when the user is entering the details. And now this is a sales invoice. So 
the desired details has been entered by the user. And if the user is going to release, system want to allow release because the workflow is enabled for the sales invoices. So you will get a message like this. This document can only be released when the approval process is complete. OK, so what you can do, you can go for the approval request. Click on the request approval and send approval request. Now you will get a pop up message like an approval request has been sent. And you can see the sales invoice status is pending approval. Which means the user has been submitted the approval request for this particular sales invoice. Now what will happen? We have enabled the approval workflow notification in email. So system will send the details for this particular document into the email ID. What you have mentioned in the approval user setup system will deliver the notification into that particular email ID. So here you can see in the email C. This is the notification overview. We will receive who is the approver. will receive a notification email like that. Here in the uh, notification email, you can see the sales invoice number, sales invoice amount, customer, and who is the user created this particular document, and approval due date. Approval due date is will be showing here and sales invoice number. This sales invoice document number is a hyperlink. The approver can click on this particular user link, uh, uh, hyperlink and system will re re redirecting to the particular document in business central and you approver can able to do the approval or rejection, whatever it is. The user can do the approval. So this is the notification approval will receive in email based on this setup. This is the one of the feature available in Business Center. And this is the standard notification template I have used. This one also you can do the custom template and you can use it. Like if you want more details from the particular sales invoice document, you can include those fields also into the template and system will deliver the notification using that particular template. Now in this presentation, I have used the standard template. In the standard template, these are the details we have available in the email notification. So this is the uh, basic approval notification functionality available in Business Central. So we are concluding this session. In this session, we have seen that approval request, how the user is sending an approval request from the sales invoice document, and the notification will be delivered into email for the approver. So the approver can see the details, whatever the document has been submitted by a user for the approval. Approver can see the details in the email, and from the email, approver can drill down the document hyperlink and login to Business Central for approval purpose. So this is the functionality I have presented in this session and thanks for watching.